Oh, oh man! Yes! Oh, oh man! Yeah. I'm oh, not feeling the that. It's we play, we play you win. win. Holy smokes, it's gonna fall immediately. It's Sherry and John here. We have a Minotaur and we're recycling an Argonaut for no particular reason. They are in a maze, and John's gonna tell us some backstory. Go ahead, John, you play first. Oh, I'm okay. So, for a change, the gentleman is playing first today, so I am playing the Minotaur. I need to race through this maze as quickly as possible in order to win. The mystery bag, and you viewers yourselves, you get a chance to win that mystery bag too by commenting on today's mystery bag question, which we will ask at some <laughs> point during the video. But that is what we're doing. We have the Minotaur and the Argonaut, and they are on a race through the maze. This is going to be a much more fun story than the traditional Minotaur story. Oh, thank you. So we love having fun here. So I am playing the Minotaur, and I need to race through this maze. And many of you are probably wondering, what is this Minotaur name? Well, you'll find out soon. Sherry? His name is Clive. I hear bells. It is the bell <laughs> signaling the beginning of the race. The Minotaur, of course, got to have a jump start there. Why? Because <laughs> somebody had to shut off the clock sound. No. Because everybody knows the Minotaur always gets to start first. Do they? Yeah. Oh. Well, because the Minotaur traditionally lived in the labyrinth. That's right. This is his home. Yes. I've not had luck in previous games with Argonauts, but I feel lucky today. Now, the Minotaur, definitely named Clive, <laughs> has been named, but the Argonaut is still just the Argonaut. One of these That's days, he gets he he has appeared as many characters. Ah, he's a changeling argonaut. He might be Jason in one video. I don't think he's Jason. Might be Stephen argonaut in another. Henry. Maybe. Hector. I don't know. I don't know. But these towers are going to come crashing down at some point, and perhaps, perhaps something crazy might happen. If you don't want the Minotaur to be named Clive. You're playing him. You can certainly name him whatever. It's been named. <laughs> I don't have any characters named Clive. Hey. This is improv. Oh. What do we do during improv? Ooh, a quarter went the rules of trouble. improv. Do you remember the rules of improv? The rules of improv are what you say is the truth. Oh. So when you say and declare something, it is the way it is. In case viewers, you've been wondering, in many cases, the stories we tell, we do somewhat improv -y. Oh, there we go! Ooh. During the video itself, and that's part of the fun. There's nothing in the loop cam except silver strikes that are in there from previous games. That's right. Good oh, luck that maze is starting to move. Okay. Yes. All right, I'm back on the left working with Clive. Notice this labyrinth is so immense, it overflowed onto the sidewalk. It did. Perhaps, perhaps our characters are in the middle of the maze and they have to work their way out. Well, of course. Because that's where the Minotaur lives. And what, is, what do we want to win? We're winning. The mystery bag. That's right. That's what Clive wants to win. But you viewers have a chance of winning that too. All right, Sherry. Okie dokie. I think that Minotaur is going to fall first. Oh, so Clive, I think, is feeling pretty tipsy today. He looks tipsy. And as always, what happens if something falls out of the coin pusher? It's or out of onto play. the side of the coin pusher. It's out of play, which means it's an immediate win or lose depending on the game. So if the Argonaut falls on the side or the Minotaur falls on the side. I wish someone had reminded me of that before I set this game up. <laughs> I would have done it differently. Oh, your oh, turn. Oh, look at Clive. He's starting to lean forward now. Oh, and you'll remember from some of our other towers on the push yourself video what happens. 
not always good things for me. Oh, it could be fantastic. Oh, Clive, come on, baby. Come on, don't twist on me. I don't want Clive twisting. If Clive twists, he'll fall back on the mirror. If he keeps going the way he's Clive's going. I going to end up on the sidewall. It's going to be end of game. I don't want, well, that'd be great. I'd win. No. Oh, this yes. This thing becomes blue for real material. And oh, I spent so yes. Long this hey, Clive wants oh. to win that mystery bag, just like our viewers. Yes. That's not easy being a minotaur, you know. Oh, there he is. He's reaching uh, forward. Now, Clive probably, instead of racing through a labyrinth, he could have just went to our website. We play oh, the yes. He could have went to our website, weplayyouwin.com, and looked up how to win a mystery bag without having to run, jump off of a tower and run through a labyrinth. You mean it's that easy? You just answered today's mystery bag question. Oh, that's right. And we'll and draw for a winner on our Sunday live streams. John Clive, you're ridiculous. He likes to do things the hard way. But the Argonaut should know better. I don't know. This Argonaut is not the sharpest tool in the shed. Oh, no. Oh. Clive is starting to get buried, and he's not on the bottom layer. He's on a slide layer. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, no. The maze is collapsing maze in front of the Argonaut, too. By the way, this was a viewer suggested game. Oh, Clive a, has a, a maze quarter was on it. Yes. And this is a, a pretty awesome maze. Hey. This is an awesome maze <laughs> for a awesome. coin pusher. Yes. Now you gotta get your Argonaut out there. No one suggested use it. Hey, check out Clive. He's completely hidden by a quarter. He is. It's perfectly safe. He's hiding. You know, I think Clive no. is a little shy. I think he realized there's some cameras on him, and he's yeah. feeling a little bit nervous now. Well, it's Argonaut. He's got a stamp on his ivory tower. Oh, yeah. And that Argonaut, he's looking pretty proud. He Something is. crazy might happen here with that Argonaut. I don't know. All right, I'm going to see if I can take down Clive's tower on the left. And help him get out of this coin pusher. He's feeling really shy. Look at him, he's just hiding. He's burying himself in the remnants of his mate. Oh, he's peeking out. Oh, man. There we that go. That Argonaut's not gonna fall. Anything could happen. The tower's well, getting. I'm the Argonaut. I'm losing. Here, I'll give you a couple extra quarters. You sound all happy and stuff. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Anything you have. Yeah, like most a couple of extra quarters to help you with your organ out. All right, there you go. I'm always losing these games. Let's see. Come on, Argonaut. Oh, his tower lurched. Come on, Argonaut. No, you want to fall. Oh, we got prizes in the loot camp. Come on, come on, come on. It's, oh, come on. It's might... dangling up. Just oh, so close. Jesus. Get your prizes out of the loot cam, Sherry. What do you got down there? Oh, you <laughs> just keep crumbling down, too. I'm not reaching Look, here. Oh, the Argonaut. Just... I was getting scared from the loot cam, and I missed the Argonaut phone. You are kidding me. You are yes. kidding me. I missed it because of the troll. Oh, I wonder where that troll was. Oh. He came. He wasn't there when we started the video. I don't know when he showed up. Where did that troll come? I don't know. Oh, oh there go the towers. Oh, oh they're man. falling. Oh, they're falling in sync. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh, oh man. that's going to give you some good pushing. Yeah. So you say. Oh. Man. Oh, oh man! Yes! Oh, oh man! Yeah. I'm oh, not feeling the left. Oh, oh yeah! Man. Oh, that's okay. a mess. Hey, hey, my Argonaut is gonna get off the edge. He's gonna land right. Hey, hey, I've got a chance. He might I've land on, on the slide layer. He might go underneath everything. That's, that's, that's the Argonaut's best hope, is to land on the white surface. 
the base of the coin pusher and slide underneath all the quarters. If that didn't happen, oh! Oh, Argonaut! Argonaut's free! Oh, I don't know where he's gonna fall. Uh-oh, he's going up on top. I'm pushing right in the middle. I'm pushing middle. Oh, my. Why Lots of quarters in the loot cam. Whoa. Okay. I'll tell you, I had forgotten what the actual story was with the Argon, with the, with the Minotaur. And I looked it up. And I wish I didn't. <laughs> That's huh? why this is Clive. And he's a nice Minotaur. He is. Oh, lots of quarters coming off the pencil. Oh, wow. Oh, and a push. Wow. Did you see this? How many quarters? Your turn, John. All right, my turn. All right. Oh, that poor Minotaur. He is afraid of cameras. He's afraid of being seen by others. But this is, we were doing a live stream. We were building something and we were talking. Someone said, hey, do a maze. And we all started talking about the Minotaur and who went out and fought with the Minotaur and stuff. And we didn't really come to a consensus. <laughs> But there was a whole lot of us involved in this. Yes, this so was a please, live stream for you. Please, please, we need more people involved in things like that. That was a very fun discussion, and it was like a doggone party. It really was. Hit that notify button so that you can take part in those crazy things, because that was not a scheduled thing. That was something that we just said, hey, I'm building something. Let's go live. And... We went live and got this awesome idea. It was just crazy. Oh, lots of quarters. Okay, the Argonauts move in. I don't know where the Minotaur is. He's buried over on the left-hand side under a big pile of quarters. I don't know if this is good for me, if this is bad for me. I think I'm in trouble because the Argonaut is kind of... There's a log jam on the right. So it's John's turn. All right. Now, before the live stream, though, I do want to give a shout out to Jean S. At one point, she had suggested, just as, as a comment in one of our videos, to do a maze. So this idea of a maze has been kicking around it's for quite a while. It's been kicking around for a while, but then we really got into it. When we were doing the live stream, just a lot of people were talking about the and, you know, what the story was. Yeah. So I think Clive has scopophobia, huh? which is the fear of being seen or stared at by others. What so just know? like our mummy, our mummy was afraid of revolving doors, Clive is afraid of cameras and being seen by others. Well, I gotta say, bull hockey, because the Argonaut is also barely, barely visible. Over here on the right, you can barely see green. Yeah, but the Argonaut is using strategy. Now, both of these guys, both of these game pieces, there are some heavy-duty quarter walls on the far left and the far so right. So the Argonaut is currently located here. Under the owner's slot. And the Minotaur is located somewhere over here. Somewhere. Somewhere. And parts of the maze are still standing. Oh! Mystery bag the mystery has bag arrived. Wow. Clive and the Argonaut are both seeking that mystery bag to claim their fortune. And all of our regular viewers know what kind of a fortune we have in our mystery bags. <laughs> you don't have to declare it to the IRS. So yeah. That's right. They are fun. They're we fun. enjoy giving them away. And it's something out that with you viewers. get in the mail. It's something just the thing. It's just fun to get something in the mail. I'm telling you, I get excited if I get a little free soap sample in the mail. So getting a little mystery bag. And guess what else you receive? Thing. You also get to have Clive. 
Fly the Yarn now will arrive tardinized. with the mystery bag for the lucky yeah. winner of today's game. So I hope you're in the minute stores and Argonauts. Clive in the Argonauts. Clive. Yes. Clive in the Argonauts. Yeah, this is not the Minotaur proper because when I researched the story, I said, why did I build that? We can't make that game. That's a whole new story. <laughs> we are a fun, ridiculous channel. That's what we're doing. So, and where is Clive? Clive is so much. Clive. You better watch the, the coin sheet, the, the loot cam, because uh, this one pop out. Now these structures really pay out well <laughs> once they go down. Once they go down, it takes a lot of orders to get them falling. But once they fall, wowza. Holy smokes. Lots of pay out. Oh, Clive, where are you? Now the interesting thing about this maze is the far left and far right hand side of the coin pusher, they were loaded with stacks of quarters as part of the maze. And now they are just coming up the works. So most of the pushing action is actually happening in the center, yeah. which is different than usual. Yep. Usually it's the sides where all the pushing occurs. But well, I'm going to play in the middle right now. It's kind of like we're playing blind again. We're not really sure. What in the world's going on? Where are the movements happening? Oh, I just helped you out immensely. Thank you. I five appreciates oh, that. Man. Oh, yes. Clive what is is the happening in Clive's side? I'm going over here, but it's already Oh, really? Really? One quarter pushes. Really? <laughs> All right. Here we go. I'm going to do a push all the way across and do another one again. Oh, I... Now, see, no to me, I'm helping, I'm helping the Argonaut now. I should just be helping Clive. Oh, poor Clive. I don't see where Clive is. He's, Clive is over there. He's somewhere. He's going to be... Oh! It's the troll troll. <laughs> Trolls and Clive are buddies. John gets, John gets an extra five dollars. <laughs> That actually really freaked me out a lot. <laughs> Where this big trash <laughs> I'm gonna have an asthma attack. Stop making me laugh. <laughs> Clive is here. Clive thinks it's very this nice of the terrible. trolls to come help Clive. I think the Argonaut has a disadvantage here. I think the Argonaut is lost. Oh, if anybody just saw like Ulysses our, saw our uh, Argonaut with the Gorgons, that Argonaut wasn't wasn't the best navigator in that game either. <laughs> I kind of have an unreasonable grudge against Argonaut. Oh, keep keep watching for that. I think that Minotaur is going to... I think Clive's going to pop nope, right out. not yet. He's got a ways to I go. I really do think so. Can you see him at all? I don't he see him He doesn't want to be seen. Well, where did the Argonaut go? <laughs> the okay, Argonaut. somewhere in here, unless they're already buried in the, in the loot camp, are two game pieces. That's right. The game pieces are definitely in there. Okay. They have not fallen out yet. They've probably not fallen out. That's right. Now, viewers... As you know, sometimes you see things before we do. Yes. That's part of the so fun. So you're probably screaming at your screen right now. They've both been in the loot cam for the last five minutes. Sometimes you see, see trolls them. crawl into the coin pusher. Sometimes you see them crawl on top of the coin pusher. It's making me nervous. Sometimes you see them fly out of the coin pusher. I like when they launch from balloons. I really like... You know, nobody watches that one. The, the troll launcher with the balloons. Nobody watches that. And there were just trolls who get launched. That, hit, the, hit the glass in the back and bounce off and nobody wants to watch it. I think, that, I think the trolls would be a great live stream to do again. With the balloons? With the balloons. Absolutely. Yeah, but the thing with the balloons is it either lasts two days or five minutes. That's no, why no. on a live stream. It took I, us like four tries to make that work. That's right. 
Well, I think we know the secret now. But four days. There were multiple tries we, in the well, days, and we, then nobody watched it. We, I think we've mastered it. I think I know. Yeah, I think we've got it now. The final attempt was pretty good. Yes. So that would that would be a fast fight. Oh, no, because once the patrols launch, you have to get them out of the coin pusher. Oh. That's right, so. Okay. And then they might all explode onto the sides, so that could be a thing. All right, and come on, Clive. I don't see them. I don't see either one of them. They will Honestly, show up. Honestly, folks, there are game pieces in there. We didn't Hold on, folks, I'm going, going to slightly adjust the camera. Since oh, all of the action sickness, is now oh, at the edge. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I want to make yeah. sure you can see what's Whoa. going on. Sherry, your turn. Oh, wow. There's a quarter vibrating on this right hand side. Oh, and there's one on the edge. Okay, I'm playing on the right. None of this playing in the middle stuff where I hope Clive. Come on, Clive needs a hand. No way, Jose. Oh, yeah. I'm playing on the right. Oh, got some what? straight pusher, pusher action going on here. Oh, yeah. I've got nothing happening. Come on, Arjuna. I already got the trolls helping me. And... John's turn. So, really, the game is stacked against the Argonaut at this point. Argonaut was last to come off the push herself. The Argonaut yeah. didn't get the bonus... Clive jumped off the tower way fast compared to the Argonaut. He saw the camera and he was startled. He said, I'm and getting he, out of here. And when he did get off the tower, he went way forwards. And Argonaut yeah. went back on the pushing side. Yeah, I think that the Argonaut likes the attention, honestly. I do. Maybe. Likes all the camera attention. Gave himself extra screen time. Maybe. He did look really smug up there in that tower. Right. Now, the Argonaut's already known on this channel. I mean, he's famous. Yeah, he and had, this is this is the debut appearance for Clive. That's right. Clive doesn't quite know what to expect. All right, Jerry. Playing on the right. Uh, somewhere on the right. <laughs> somewhere on the right. There's an argument. And there's no cool loot to drop either because with the maze, there was nowhere to put it. I like putting the pretty, pretty things, decorative pieces. Oh, you know, nothing's happening on the oh, right. there's pushes happening. But yeah. the pushes are all focused on the center. Because all the masks are on the side. Yeah. Just lodging the right and the left-hand side is a challenge with this the setup. This is going to be quite a challenge. Because those coin walls that were up on the sides for the uh, maze... Are now they blockades. Are, yeah, they have definitely They're blockading cool. things. And a push. I've never been to Greece. Have you been to Greece? I have never been to Greece. My Aunt Rita, my great Aunt Rita, was very, she, her second husband was a Greek fellow, my Uncle Terry. And I'll tell you, did he cook? Holy smokes, he was so cool. He was so cool. He had the most beautiful garden. I love that garden. And he raised show pigeons. Zillions of show pigeons. They were cool. And little little bantam chickens. He raised those too. And he was just really cool. He, was, he looked like Santa Claus. Every year for Christmas, he would dress up as Santa Claus. And my Aunt Rita would dress up as Mrs. Claus. And they just looked like Santa and Mrs. Claus. They were so good together. And that was... He was my first person that I realized was a Greek person and man you couldn't help but love him you really couldn't he was awesome working on the left it's my turn again there was a lot of Greek food in our area though too it was really awesome oh some more coins falling into a loot cam but I haven't actually been to Greece mm -hmm. maybe someday I think most recently most of the Greek food we've eaten has all been, what, gyros? Yeah. Which, which are awesome. Which They're are awesome. awesome. I love them. But that's just that's, straight from the I mean, It's been over a year, though. I mean, it's been a that's, long time. that's just straight from the surface. That's not. All right, Sherry. Greek food is phenomenal. Okay, let's see what I can do. 
I'm going to play a little bit left of far right. See if I can break this log thing. Hmm. And come on, come on, come on. Just lots of quarters. But my family's really mixed up. <laughs> All over the world. All right, so while we've been playing, some information has come to our attention. Kayla Fuller and Patricia Stevens. Stevenson? Steven and Tammy Coleman, and probably a few others I'll name here shortly. Oh, we were all Patricia talking about. Stephen? Yeah, Patricia Stephan. We were. And Kayla Fuller. And Kayla Fuller uh, were among the viewers who we were chatting with when we were talking in our last live stream just a lot of conversation about Minotaurs and Maisie. That was a really and fun live stream. Robert Hohen and C. Russell. There was just a lot of discussion. We were having a really fun live stream. And those, they are just, they're completely impromptu, unplanned, unprepared. I'm building something and Jen says, hey, wait, let me go grab a camera. And next thing you know, there's a bunch of people and we're all just gabbing. Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous. It does. And we've got, we'll have people from Europe and people from Australia and just all yeah. over the place. I mean, global, and we're just all talking. And Kayla, you were the one that mentioned Theseus and the Minotaur. That's correct. And have the history and study these things. So, Kayla, thank you, and thank you to all our other viewers as well who uh, joined in that conversation. Probably by the time this video releases, this will be after Thanksgiving. This is probably December at this point. Uh, we'll have done another live stream or two, so. Well, this is either going the last day of November or the first day of December. Right. I'm not sure. We do these way in advance because sometimes horrible things happen. And that, as we'll do a couple of games that really go south on us. And so no game got made that day, but, but we have to release something that day. So we try and stockpile them. So like on the weekends... Oh, the right is starting to come unclogged. Good. Oh no, Clive. I don't want Clive to get stuck in the maze. That's his That's fear. Him. Oh my goodness. Or he really likes the maze. He lives in the maze. Why would he be afraid of his own house? I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I can see the Argonaut. Oh no, where can you see him? He is, oh, where is he? Where's my finger? There we go. He's right here. He's like in the middle of the owner's return slot on the right. I think Clive is getting close. I think he's in that mass of quarters there on the left, but not all the way left. My turn. Wait, all the way left. So I want to get that Argonaut out of there. Before Clive makes it out. And folks, if you've been watching all this time, please give us a like. We appreciate it. Consider subscribing. Okay. Roll. All right, here we go. Back to the left. Come on, Clive. Where, oh, where are you, Clive? I know you want that mystery bag. I can't believe it's taking this long. Oh, wow. that's what happens when you have a mass of quarters collapse. That's why this is a maze. This really is a maze. They it have, really is. It's they have really to work their way to out through this maze, here. yes. Usually you don't have to tunnel your way out of the labyrinth, though. I want to push. I'm push. I'm playing, by the way. I should have said. And I'm playing on the right. 
because I know my game pieces over here. I can see them. And another push. Okay, oh, just the left. Oh. There goes the left. Oh, that's Thank not you. good for me. Clive is feeling frisky. I think he's going to make a run for it now. If we can get a few more quarters knocked off that left-hand side, Clive will be able to make it out ahead of the Argonaut. Lucky, lucky Clive. He wants I'm that mystery bag. Oh, yes, the left is pushing good. I'm not doing enough for any games with Argonauts in them. Oh, and Please come on, send Clive. Suggestions. We need viewer suggestions for an Argonaut can redeem himself because... Thus far, uh -uh. you should have been playing with Theseus, not an Argonaut. That's what's well, he's a generic Argonaut. If I had thought about it, yeah, he'd be Theseus. Is this Mr. Generic? He's Mr. Generic. Or is this Bobby? An Argonaut named Bobby? I guess we can have a Minotaur named Fly. Well, remember Bobby's World? Yeah, Bobby Generic. Yes. Yeah. That was a great. Show. That was a good show. With Howie Mandel. That's right. Oh, yes. And to some of our viewers in the United Kingdom, you've been asking about Tipping Point, and if we've heard of it, yes. Yes. Uh, and some of our early videos and live streams, we've talked about it. Sherry and I were actually, we watched Tipping Point um, there some, there on YouTube. There are some episodes on YouTube available, and yes. that is... That's a fun show. You right. get the quiz show aspect and you get to play a coin pusher. That's, that's fun. Yeah, it's, it, it doesn't broadcast here in the U.S., no, but some people have posted all. it to YouTube. Whether they should or not is another story. We don't know, but that's where we've watched it in the past. Well, I wish they'd broadcast it here. We do get a lot of British programming. It does run here, but it's, it's mainly, I don't know, dramas... Or Doctor Who. And they're all great, but we don't get we don't get British game shows. Nope. Those are retained by BBC One, I think. Are they? Yeah, BBC One isn't sharing that stuff. Hmm. At least not with us. Or no one's getting it. Alright. Okay, John. Come on, I see Clive. Clive, Clive? Clive is right here. He's right here. In this mass right there. Oh, dude. I am in Clive trouble. is going to the win Argonaut the mystery bag. The Argonaut is gone. He's gone. The Argonaut is gone. I could see him. He was working his way out. And he's gone. And now there's Clive sitting pretty. Oh. Well, the Argonaut was spending too much time in the camera's attention. And Clive... He was sunbathing. Which well, is great is, because we all need vitamin D. That's true. Vitamin D is very important right now, especially. Yes. But he let the he let Clive rush ahead. Hmm. Well, I don't know where the Argonaut is. Maybe something awesome is happening under the surface. Things happen in coin pushers that are unbelievable. Oh, that's a nice push. Oh, oh, but it's fucking Clive. Hey. Come on, coin pusher. And where's my push? Where's my push? Oh, Ooh, here we go. Here we go. And look, you're freeing up Clive. Uh -oh. There he is. We're going to have to rob the... Not for very long. Are there trolls in there? Are there trolls in there? In... I have no idea. Okay. Alright, loop cam has been cleared out somewhat. Well, we have fed like $300 into this. Have you ever had Greek pizza? Greek pizza? Yeah. Uh, no, but now you're making me want to make one. No, be. Oh, wow, that would be really good. Ooh, yeah. We gotta do that. I want you to tell our viewers what we do every Friday at home. Friday is pizza day. And we make pizza from scratch. 
Anybody who's made pizza from scratch knows that it's easy peasy. And you can make a pizza at home from scratch in about the same amount of time that it takes to order one and have one delivered. And I'll tell you, the one you make yourself is gonna be better than the one they deliver, the positive. And way cheaper. Hey, hey, I see my Argonaut. Where? I see him. Let me see if I can get my finger in the right place. He's right here. Oh, he's so far he's behind, right he's not even funny. Yeah. Clive has got the lead. But what it could what's happened sometimes is these pieces on the edge like this with Clive will suddenly slide back in. They'll either fall out as predicted or they'll start sliding back in. Like there's quarters sliding it from underneath it right now. Oh, that oh, wall on the left just took a dumb tumble. Oh man. Oh yes. I'm well, your Argonaut decided to sunbathe. Yeah. And viewers, if you've never made a pizza from scratch, give it a try. Give it a try. It's a lot of fun. And if you have questions, we'll help you. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm playing on the right. I don't think there's a lot of hope for this situation I'm in. Uh, I'm going to try. Coins are burying Clive some more. That just means he's going to get better push. Down. Argonaut's not budging. Your turn, John. All right. And here we go. Push. Oh, yes. Well, at least Clive. we just ordered. We're not going to clog. I think we're going to rescue Clive. Oh, yes. Oh, man. Oh, there he is. He's still covered, though. Notice his, his token is completely emerging, and yet you can't see his face. It's almost like he's a oh. phantom of the maze. Yeah, he he's had a quarter on his face just about the whole time. Okay, I'm playing over here. I am desperately trying to get this Argonaut out of here. Come on, come on. Oh, you got to push. Oh, good one. Okay. Another good one for you. Oh, yep. It was a well-targeted push, at least. Your turn, yep. John. The Argonaut's got about three, four inches it needs to go. Five is, Clive is hanging off the edge. But as we've seen, Clive is really shy and might decide to go burrowing back into the coin pusher. It could happen, things do. They'll get hanging off the edge and then they just back off it. Yep. But generally they don't have a bunch of stuff on top of them. Oh, here he is, he's wiggling. He wants to win that mystery bag. Remember viewers, listen for today's mystery bag question. We'll ask it in a few minutes. Okay, I am playing on the right. It's looking like Clive is going to run away with this. I can see his horns. So Sherry. Yes, John. What is the secret to a good pizza crust? Instead of using water, I use a bottle of beer. Oh! Rescue Clive. I for said me. the word beer and that bull went charging out. <laughs> he Gosh. heard he knows what's good. Man. Alright. Oh. So folks, today's mystery bag question. That was terrible. What oh, is God. the secret ingredient to a good pizza crust? Oh, and hey, there is no wrong answer. answer. If you make your own, go That's ahead, great. give us your secret. But because that's our I'd secret. Love to try it. And please comment with that answer for an entry in today's mystery bag question. You've got 24 hours from the day time the video posts. For more questions, please see weplayyouwin.com. And uh, 
And this Argonaut will probably still be stuck in the machine next time. That's right. Everyone, stay safe, stay healthy, stay warm if you're someplace cold, and we'll see, see you next, next time. time.